Anybody who knows me knows that I love working, I love having an income, and so when I had to move out here, it was, <laughs> sorry, side note, I look naked right now, it's really funny. <laughs> another video of my figured it would be really cool to make a video talking about the realities of what it's like to be moving out yeah. or wait did that make any sense the realities of moving out i don't fucking know set an alarm to wake up earlier but that never works out for me so yeah but um right now i'm about to go ahead and just like do some laundry i might just like wash my sheets because i haven't done that in a while so i'm going to wash my sheets clean my room um i got these cute little roses from valentine's day that happens like a week ago so they're still thriving they're still happy i love my flowers um thank you to the people who got me them you know who you are so i just kind of want to have a productive day i gotta kind of clean up this little nightstand area um and i'm basically going to make myself breakfast and then kind of get to talk to you guys a little bit and uh all of that fun stuff so i'm going to go ahead and see you guys once i get breakfast and i have makeup on and i look a little bit more put together so all right i'll see you in a second Okay guys, so the laundry machine's super loud, but I have my laundry going and I got some clothes right here soaking in this bleach bucket. I'm gonna close that door. So, um, yeah, also I don't think I ever got the chance to show you guys, but this is basically my living room area. This is our couch, little kitchen area. Um, I made myself some coffee this morning, um, and that's my room over there. That's my roommate Paola's room. This is my room, cleaning that. It's a whole clusterfuck right now. Um, but yeah, so hopefully like laundry can be done quick enough, can fix everything, and then I can finally sit down and make a detailed video of what it's been like living on my own. For about a month now so i will catch you guys when i'm done with laundry and all that other stuff so okay guys so i'm finally done with all of the nitty gritty stuff i oh my god it was such a pain i had to do laundry i had to put bleach on my clothes because there was a bunch of clothes that had a bunch of stains on it and then like i had to clean my room and i had to put makeup on and look presentable because i'm not trying to come on here looking like a rat today i wanted to like just introduce you guys really quick click what i wanted to introduce you guys really quick to cleo she's a queen we love cleo and then this is bubba the cow we love bubba and then here is samantha the sloth so we love them so they keep me company at night and of course we have my flying bison appa i really wanted to make a video talking about just kind of like the truth and the reality of what it's like to be living on your own and the experience of moving out and all of that fun stuff um also before i begin with this video uh, let me know if you guys like this setup i the, the light comes in from this way and my desk is that way so it's not like my room in my parents house where like I had my desk right in front of the window so I have to make do with the lighting some way somehow but I am really glad that I have a lot of lighting in my room because I have like seasonal depression sometimes if I'm in darkness too long I start to kind of like tweak out so if you guys haven't really been following me and kind of know anything about me and what I've been up to on my channel. So I moved to Orlando for school about a month ago. Um, I'm kind of pursuing my medical laboratory scientist journey. So um, if you guys wanna stick tuned and follow me on that journey, I would really appreciate it. I make a little series called Vlog Diaries and with that series, I just kind of t like take you guys with me on my day-to-day -day life, kind of update you about what's been going on, what's been going real, what's been going bad, like 
I kind of tell you guys about everything. So explaining to you guys what that experience is like and what to expect and the truth and everything like that. So I don't really have a list of things or anything like that because I'm the type of person where I just like to state what I've been through and all of that stuff. So that's just me. But um, yeah, so let me just get started with, I guess, my first initial experience when I moved out. So when I first also hold on. Oh, my back. Oh my god, my back is like killing me, bruh. I'm sorry if you hear a bunch of noise outside. I really can't control that. My window is literally right next to a road. So that's cool. But what I was trying to go ahead and say was when I first moved out, um, I guess just like being somewhere new and in a new city is just really, really scary. I had to kind of put in my two weeks at my job and just make so many life adjustments. And in my head, I was really excited to come out here and I was really excited to experience like what it is to be out on my own in a new city, everything new. But I'm gonna be really honest with you guys, like it's really lonely it's really really lonely a lot of times and you find yourself stressed about things that you never thought you'd be stressed out about so for me it's more so of like having to clean do laundry cook food for myself uh, making sure that i'm not blowing my budget which is another thing that i want to talk to you guys about budgeting is so essential and you really kind of have to live off of it when you're on your own because for me I'm not gonna sugarcoat it. I used to be going on Sheen, I used to be going shopping, I used to be doing all of these things, spending my money, and to be fair, I had a job, I had my own money, and I was able to do that stuff. But when you're out here on your own, you kind of are needing to budget because you don't live with your parents anymore, and it's like all of the expenses that you didn't have to worry about before, you're worrying about now, which is like water, electricity, all this stuff. Thankfully for me, I do live in student housing, so it's not as expensive as an original apartment would be, but I do be paying a lot of the same things that you would if you were in an apartment. So it kind it adds up, and I also pay for my car, so it's like groceries and all of these little things that you really didn't think of before are coming into play, and it can be really overwhelming. I found myself crying about every every two days <laughs> once you kind of like get adjusted and you start to like figure out a routine it starts to get easier but for me I know that I'm still struggling with budgeting and if you guys want me to make a video talking about budgeting and all of that stuff and kind of like the expenses that you're more so looking at when you're moving out um, let me know in the comments below I feel like that would be a really cool video to make but on my end i do know that it's extremely hard to like not want to go out sometimes to not buy what you usually would want to buy and i've actually like you know would cry a lot because it's like man i want to do this but i know that if i do this right now i won't have enough money to be able to do what i have to do so it's it kind of goes like that um with the whole lonely thing yeah like i don't have my family with me which is really hard but they're just a phone call away that i you know i tell myself and you know they can always visit me i'm not too far away i'm like an hour or so away so it's not that deep but it can definitely get to you because it's like you're used to living with a certain group of people and then it's like all of a sudden fuck you i have yet to really um make a lot of friends out here or have my own friends but you know i think that things i think that takes time um if you guys watched my previous video i was talking to you guys about my feelings and how i feel lonely as well and you know with things like that i think they take time and as much as i want to sit here and be like i want friends now i want oh go girl you run Sorry, I got distracted. This girl was like running for her life outside. I don't know, I feel like I'm really hard on myself and I'm trying to work on that. And that's something that I've always been bad at. It's like, I put so much pressure on myself because I want 
to succeed. I want to do well. I want to do everything that I've set myself out to do and more. But I also have to be patient because I did just move out here a, mo a month ago and it's kind of silly for me to expect all of these things to kind of come into place. Um, yeah, like it's lonely, but it has its exciting moments, guys, because guess what? I don't have to ask my parents for permission to do things anymore. So like, you know, if I want to have people over, it's not awkward because I'm going to be real with you guys. My parents were really, really strict on things that I did and all, all that, or at least my mom was. Um, she had cameras around the house. That's a whole thing in itself. I will, you know what, like, I will definitely make a video about like what it's like to have foreign parents, you know, like all that stuff because I feel like, you know, a lot of people do talk about it, but I feel like I've never really shared my personal experiences with it. So that's good. You know, I will do a future video about that. But my mom did have a lot of cameras at the house and it's like every time I wanted to go out, she was always monitoring me and making sure that I wasn't out too late, what, like who I was going out with, like, and it almost felt like I was entrapped at some points because I felt like I didn't have enough freedom to really do what I wanted. So now I have all the freedom in the world to do what I want, except I don't be having the money to do so. So it's like a fuck you, fuck you situation. But for the most part, I mean, do like, I, what? Still fairly new to the area. I haven't had my established group of friends yet or people that I can go out late with and stuff like that. So. It does get lonely a lot because I'm not gonna lie to you guys a lot of the times I spend my time here like on my bed studying um, you know I've been kind of like going crazy with my biology stuff it's just like I've been studying for my biology stuff so it's been a lot but you know you gotta just like worry about a lot of things when you're on your own and it's like you also have to be really good and managing your feelings. I have really severe anxiety sometimes. I pick my fingers. I don't know if you guys can tell, like, like I have some skin hanging on my thumb and stuff like that. So you gotta be good at managing your feelings because like when you're on your own, it's like you kind of have to fend for yourself. Like that's the mentality that I've been kind of feeling. It's like, oh, you're hungry. You have to kind of feed yourself. Oh, you need to do laundry. Well, you have to do that for yourself. Oh like you need this you need to like do this you need to you know make sure you're on top of your stuff because your mom and dad aren't going to be around to like really tell you to do that stuff so it's like a lot and i'm not gonna lie to you you know it's scary bro fuck you like that scared the living shit out of me he just started to honk his horn and for what bro you did this for what? Um, side note, I really like my room because I'm next to this tree and I get to see cute little squirrels running up and down the tree a lot and I, I see a bonding moment happening and it's just making me really happy inside. But um, besides that, yeah guys, the truth is moving out isn't all sunshine and daisies and rainbows. Like you are going to be hit a lot of times with reality, but you gotta also find things that make you happy amongst all the bullshit so for me when i feel overwhelmed i just open my macbook i watch some euphoria i watch some netflix i watch love is blind love is blind it is an amazing show to see people fucking go through it and it's funny because they're stupid i recently went back home to visit my family because they were stuck in brazil because they had covid there so that was a whole thing and i think i talked about that in my last video but i got to finally see my family again I got my um, paint by numbers thing because I love painting as well. Um, you know, uh, I brought my guitar from home. Hopefully, eh, I don't know about what you know, but hopefully I will learn how to play guitar. So I'm just like trying to do little things here and there. And you know, that's all you can really do. Um, nothing is ever perfect. The only thing you can do is try again every single day. Like. Like, if you guys ever feel super isolated and lonely, like, you know, just realize that you don't have to feel like that. You can, you know, force yourself to get ready. Don't be like me. Sometimes I, like, sulk in my sadness, and it really does limit me from, like, really experiencing things because I be getting so sad that it's, like, 
I wallow and I feed off of my own sadness, if that makes sense. So, you know, just keep in mind, it's not always a fun time. Like when you go to college, you're gonna be stressed all the time. It's also like you make the best memories because I've already experienced so many fun times out here and I wouldn't trade those for the, for the world, like, you know? Because if I would have never taken that step, I would have never known what it would have felt like. So, um, I guess that's like my experience, you know what I mean? But I just wanted to update you guys and kind of give you more of like a rough like breakdown of what it's really like living on your own. Keep in mind, I'm still figuring it everything out myself because I have only been out here for a month. So I'm sure I'll make an updated version of this video sometime in the future. But, um... The only thing that I want to say is I love you guys and thank you so, so, so much for like supporting me on, you know, this journey so far and it's still continuing and there's a lot left for me to do, but, you know, I, I can't say thank you enough and I am also hoping to make more music soon. Don't know how soon, but it's coming. I promise you that. Um yeah i i love you guys i'm about to go to starbucks with my roommate because we like to go to starbucks and study and just get some of our stuff done and it's a great way to get out of the house especially because i literally hate staying in the house too long like i start to go crazy personally personally so i don't know about you guys but i'm a homebody but i also can't stand being home for too long because it starts to make me go crazy so but um, yeah, I love you guys. Thank you so, so much for watching this video. And I will see you guys in my next one. Bye. Oh, this shit's far away. Oh my God. <laughs> Bye.